Hello Scorpio, welcome. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, I hope you're all well, wherever you are. This is your reading for the 20th through to the 26th of June 2022, or thereabouts. It could resonate a little bit beyond that time. Um, just to quickly mention that we're still in the energy field of the supermoon that we had on the 14th of June, the strawberry um, full moon, um, which was beautiful. But we're still in that energy field. Um, still feeling the um, eff effects of that moon um, but we've also on the 21st of June what uh, on the horizon now we have the summer equinox so quite powerful energies at play here all right so let's see what that means for yourself Scorpio um, it is a general reading so it won't resonate fully with everybody but it certainly will with some so let's see shall we what What's important for Scorpio to consider at this time, please? What's important for Scorpio to finish it, to consider at this time, please? All right, Scorpio, we have number 22, um, and this talks about reflections. Um, looking back uh, in hindsight, uh, memories of somebody perhaps from the past or events from the past, um, perhaps thinking about decisions made in the past. Um, all right, so I'll just put that to one side. And here we have number 20. And this talks about belief, having faith, about having blind faith, a total trust in something. All right, so we'll see where those two energies fit in in a little while. But let's get into um, the heart of your reading now. All right, what do we have for Scorpio, please? What is important for Scorpio to consider at this time, please? What do we have for Scorpio? So we have the heart of your reading, Scorpio, the root of the matter, past influences, what's on your mind at the moment, the future going forward, and then something else that your guides would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck, we have a major arcana. This is the emperor. So this is something about authority, power, control. Now it's either to do with yourself needing to adopt the um, energy of the emperor, now all this is signifying somebody who who has the emperor energy um but it's definitely something about power autonomy control um all right let's so let's see right, could we clarify all of the cards on the table please for scorpio Clarify all of the cards on the table for Scorpio, please. Right at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands, um, and this talks about a new, a new opportunity, a new beginning that's very creative, you're very passionate, um, but definitely a new opportunity uh, that's going to be presented itself. All right, just put that to one side. Let's see where this is going for you, Scorpio. Right, at the heart of your reading, um, we have the Eight of Swords and Temperance. The Eight of Swords is very much when you feel trapped in your mind, stuck, can't think of a way out of a situation or through uh, how to negotiate your way through a situation that's, that's quite difficult. But it, it, it's 
the message of the Eight of Swords is that there is there is a way forward, but you just got to take your blindfold off and see it. Um, but it's almost like a self entrapment, really, because it's a difficult thing to look at, whatever it is. All right. Um, and temperance, major arcana. And temperance is about um, balance, harmony, patience, having patience, um, healing. Um, temperance is a um, Sagittarius energy. The ruling planet being Jupiter, which is the, Jup which is the planet of expansion and growth. All right. So there is always a little bit of a conflict here built into the temperance energy between the fire and water. So two very different elements. And it's about achieving balance and harmony between those sorts of um, opposing energies, if you like. Um, so on the one hand, temperance is asking you to be patient and, and, and to wait. But Jupiter in the background is wanting uh, expansion um, and growth. Um, so it's just taking control of these energies, I feel. Um, but this, it's this, these energies, these conflicting energies, I feel that for some of you are creating this um, mental conflict. about how to go forward, which way to go forward. The root of this, we have the Empress and the Chariot. Um, the Empress Major Arcana, well, and as is the Chariot, but the Empress is very much about growth, expansion, fertility, new beginnings, new opportunities, um, being comfortable in nature, um, The clarify being the chariot. Now, in ordinary tarot, the chariot is very much about uh, going forward quickly, taking control, taking the reins. But in this particular deck, th this this chariot is not going anywhere soon. We have blocks in front of the wheels. There's no horses. There's no uh, reins. And, and the person, the woman on the chariot, is is disinterested. We should look into the side. She's distracted. Um, so I feel what at the root of this we have the potential for growth, expansion, which is what Jupiter is, is bring, trying to bring in. And we've got the Ace of Wands, haven't we? You've got Jupiter there in the background of the Ace of Wands also. So something very much about new opportunities for growth and expansion here. Um, however, something... With distract something has been distracting you, Scorpio. It's almost like that you're waiting for something to come in before you take take the reins, take control. So there's this push pull happening uh, around you and possibly within you, Scorpio. Now, the past influences. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Fool. The fold is a major arcana. So we have a few major arcanas on the table at the moment. We have the emperor, temperance, the empress, the chariot, and now the fool. So quite a significant message for some of you, Scorpio. The, the page of pentacles, this is, the pages are the uh, young messengers in the minor arcana. And they bring messages or information about some, some new opportunity. A new beginning. The Page of Pentacles, and Pentacles are about finances, money, work, career, practical matters. So the Page here is seen fishing and he's caught a pentacle. So in the past, yourself or somebody connected to you has been fishing, trying to catch something new, trying to um, grasp a new opportunity um, that may be promising some form of growth and expansion. All right, yes, because the fool is is the new beginning, the new, the new opportunities, new beginning, taking a leap of faith in a new direction. All right, and so the past influences are, you know, taking that leap of faith, uh, but searching, fishing for this new beginning, looking for something new, new opportunities.
But something's holding you back with the Eight of Swords and the Chariot, this particular Chariot. Something holding you back, although you're being encouraged to go forward, to grow for growth and expansion, but there's a need for harmony and balance here. And I feel there's a need for you to take control uh, of this situation, Scorpio, because there's a promise of something quite new, a new opportunity, a new passionate beginning here that's on the cards. And you've been asked to have blind faith, all right? And, um, and then also you've been reflecting, looking back, and that's, that may be what has been the energy that's been holding you back. Yeah, so let's have a look. What are you thinking about? Well, we have the Four of Cups and the Five of Swords. You're thinking about an opportunity put in, being put on the table. You're thinking about an offer that is around. All right. Um, but you're quite nervous about this. You're holding back. You're not ready to accept this offer. And we can see this already on the table. Being reserved, holding back, being cautious. Um... And the clarifier is the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords is quite a ruthless energy. The Five of Swords refers to somebody who, who needs to win at all costs, needs to win every single battle, no matter who is left wounded on the battlefield. As long as he gets, or he or she, it's not gender specific, as long as they get all of the swords that, that are available. So it's all about winning at any cost. And I feel that that is why there's something about this ruthless energy that's making you hold back now from, from this new opportunity. And it could be, and this is what you're thinking about, this is the reflections, the memories from the past, you know, where you possibly had blind faith in the past. Um, but you were left wounded on the battlefield. So now, you're, although there's an opportunity being put onto the table for you, Scorpio, you are worried about this and you're holding back. You're not sure what to do. You are very much stuck in your mind about this, not wanting to make that decision. So going forward, we have the Ten of Cups and the Hermit. Um, and the Hermit is another major arcana. But the Ten of Cups, this is complete emotional fulfilment within yourself and for your family, a family situation, whatever family means for you, Scorpio. But complete emotional fulfilment, all of your cups full here. Um, Clarifier is the Hermit, and the Hermit shines his light to find a way along a narrow pathway, to find his way down the mountain. All right. So, but he has to go inward to shine his light, to get the answers, to get the information he needs. Um, so I feel going forward, emotional fulfillment is here for you, but you've got to do some soul searching first to achieve the Ten of Cups. You've got to find your way to achieve the, your Ten of Cups energy. So it's tapping into your inner self, shining your light to get the answers from within um, to see how to achieve the Ten of Cups going forward. All right, so it's not a given here, Scorpio. This is going to take some research on your behalf, some soul searching, I feel. But there's wishful, there's a, a complete emotional fulfillment on the table here. Um, you've just got to find a way to achieve that. So what do your guides want to say to you? Well, we have the Five of Cups and the King of Swords. And what your guides want to say, and I feel, you know, uh, the, the reason you, we've got 
that you've got to be the hermit and shine your light that you're worried because of you're holding back because of a previous five of swords energy somebody was quite ruthless you're holding back because of a loss you've been grieving you've been focused and grieving over a loss a sense of loss something that is in ruins um, something that's been left in ruins but there is these beautiful gold cups waiting for you to see and to grasp these are your new opportunities going forward and they're solid gold but your energy at this time is one of sorrow regret um, and nostalgia and memories all right, but it's about what you feel is, is lost, is gone, is in the ruins. Um, all right, and clarify the King of Swords. And you can see the King of Swords looking across here to the figure on the Five of Cups. And the King of Swords is, uses his logic, he's a strate strategist and he's a pragmatist. So he doesn't allow his emotions to get the better of him. He he looks at things purely, clearly, um, honestly, truthfully at situations. All right. And what your guides want to say to you is they want you to try to lift up now from the, the emotions that are holding you back, that from, from the past, and to look at it in a more logical way, to stand back and look at things more strategically, you know, at, at what happened in the past. The King of Swords has integrity um, and he likes to seek, is a truth seeker. And it could be that that's what you're being asked to do, to find out the truth of a matter, you know, and that's going to help you to lift your head and see the new opportunities that are waiting for you. Right, we'll get two final messages for you now, Scorpio. Could we have two final messages for Scorpio please, to conclude this reading? Two final messages for Scorpio. All right, first of all, we have embracing enthusiasm, Scorpio. So this is about shout to the heavens with happiness. This is a time of transformation for you. Things are changing and it's going to bring in a lot of joy and happiness. Yes, a great adventure. So take a risk and venture forward. And this is a clear message for you, isn't it? You know, and that's perhaps where having a little bit more of blind faith comes in here now. So this is, life is a great adventure. But they want you to take a risk now and venture forward. So to take control now, to take control, take the reins, because there's a fantastic opportunity now being presented to you. It's here on the table. But something happened in the past for some of you that's holding you back, that you're still um, dwelling on. But the energies want you to stand back from that now um, and look at things in a different light with more clarity. When the dark clouds are over us and it's raining, it's difficult to see the light, to see things clearly. But life is a great adventure, so the reading wants you, whoever this is for, and it won't be for everybody. It is a general reading. But for somebody, they're asking you to take a risk and venture forward now. 
All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. Whoever it's for, I hope you've enjoyed the reading and it's given you some support and clarity on your situation. But good luck going forward. And until next time, bye-bye for now.